Hello, welcome back to me, the new guy for um, uh, Andy Peck playing uh, Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire as <coughs> a planet cult and doing a well, rather good job of it, uh, if I say so myself. Um, the exciting part of the combat is over, the uh, terraforming, which is um, which is uh, centrally planned from um, one of the, one of the uh, bases over here. I, be <coughs> I believe it's a consecration pit, this is the uh, where the, uh, the planning goes on, so it's a fairly inefficient system. That's where the terraforming is playing and is, is done, and um, as I say, it's, it's a very bureaucratic, inefficient process, but uh, it's what, what you uh, could expect. Well, the uh, faction that is based around uh, a rather unstable cult like figure who's only eight years old. Well, you uh, joined us last. We were just wrapping up the uh, wrapping up the invasion of uh, of the last alien presence upon the uh, upon planet. With a small task force that is is being directed from Star Harmony, where our um, where the command center is being re-established or has been re-established, to so fit in with the command nexus that is already present there. The uh, it's a skeleton force. Um, it's a, it has a lot of um, lots of aerial uh, aerial backing. But given the uh, the resistance has been minimal on account of the um, on account of the uh, overextension of the aliens into uh, into uh, date. Um, Data Angel's territory. Oh, we'll see about that. The uh, the very nature of the uh, <coughs> of the uh, the faction that we're playing, the uh, Cult of Planet, means that most uh, the most uh, interactions uh, with the base is actually are central uh, centralized centralized around a set. Uh, Usually a single base. Science is, uh, is around the, uh, the Hermitage, as is the centre of government now. But other forms of government, including the uh, oh dear, what a shame. As the military has now been moved to uh, Star Harmony to uh, to um, reflect the changing um, the changing war fronts. Uh, production is done from Free Drone Central. Um, so it has its advantages. There is a lot of bureaucratic inefficiency to do around the, uh, the dis due to the sheer distance involved of the um, of the various bureaucracies. Beware, you who seek first and final principles, for you are trampling the garden of an angry god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's old, that's old school religion. We're talking about new planet cult religion. That's that's where the future lies. Commerce also has its home in uh, the Hermitage, but only as a means of funding the science. The, uh, uh, there's not there's not much call for uh, for wealth amongst the, the rest of the empire. It's a fairly it's a fairly ascetic one. Where um, there's some mater material gain is, is is second to uh, to will of the planet. So as a side, aside from the uh, well, I say aside from the uh, financial center at the Hermitage, there's there's not much economic activity throughout the rest of the empire. And uh, as a as a trend that followed in followed on to uh, into uh, other forms of uh, other parts of uh, uh, imperial administration. Which is the the, the need the, the, due to the a lack of consumer demand. There's no need for uh, a um, production production base that's particularly spread out. So it's all factored around the uh, the free drone central. Um, the same too with with terraforming.
if it's uh, if it's if it seems like it'd be more convenient to uh, factor it all in, into one one area, like in the Dawn of Planets, uh, or the, the well, it's not the capital anymore, but as was, that's not the case due to the uh, fairly single-minded nature of the uh, Planet Cult uh, followers. Not that there's anything single <coughs> single-minded about uh, religion in general. Ooh. But but more the the, the planet cult itself has a uh, very strict policy regarding um, adherence to to planet and the will of the planet, and it leaves little time for diversification and specialisation in other in other areas. So that has to be uh, relegated to de delegated to one city at a time, which is why there's a lot of uh, corruption and inefficiency and uh, waste within the system, which is the sort of distances involved. And though this was Attempted to be alleviated by uh, the, planet, the planetary transit system, it, it just wasn't the case. And there's only so much efficiency you can have when your planet leader is an eight-year-old boy that was found in the fungus, supposedly. Although it's uh, suggested this sort of a miraculous uh, ability, there's talk amongst some of the, uh, the medically inclined uh, specialists within the, uh, the cult. There's, it, this uh, effect is... is um, his it's, it's, it's brain, uh, brain workings and his ability to cognitive thinking. Um, so what you end up with is a, an eight-year-old leader who has um, you know, quite a few, has difficulty processing information, and as, as a such, there's a lot of delegation. Where there's delegation, there's uh, vested interests. Anyway, the the, uh, the assault on manifold, the decision manifold, is uh, proceeding nicely. It's actually falling a lot quicker than was expected uh, by the commanders at Star Harmony. No, go away. In fact, the uh, it's going to fall this turn. Uh, 2316 will see the end of the alien invasion of planet. And uh, to celebrate, the diplomatic corps, situated, situated at, um, at Dawn's chancel, uh, sent a, a telegram to, uh, to the Data Angels, and declaring that... Um, And whining incompetence. Of uh, being, being that there's no common enemy for which humanity to unite around, we can go back to fighting amongst ourselves, which is what we intend to do. And with that, um, the uh, the aliens have been wiped off the planet. We we learnt a lot from them while they were there, and they were an interesting sideshow. But ultimately. Um, while they wanted to care for the planet, they didn't worship it. Just, just, just didn't, were, didn't worship it enough, and so it had to be eradicated. Oh, eight minutes in already. Crikey! So now preparations are being made for the uh, the moving of forces from one uh, one area from around the uh, from around Casegoria. Uh, as was to uh, to the data angels who have no real means of defence, being because um, I've got the uh, hunter seeker algorithm, which makes me immune to their probe teams. In fact, to show the swiftness of my nature, I'm going to take opticommons. See if we can get them to declare war on me. Oh, far. oh charismatic friend. That's one way to describe uh, Chardorn. Yes, he's not much of a thinker, nearly eight year, eight year old boy, but he does have a certain oratory skill that can um, that can sway many. In this case, an entire planet. There's a lot of mourning there for the loss of our uh, mindworm brethren, but uh, sometimes it just can't be helped. I mean, what we should find with the uh, the conquest of the uh, Zeta Angels, it would be surprisingly easy, being as the uh, caretakers did a lot of the heavy lifting for us. And this, I suppose, we're just sort of freeloading on the uh, on the efforts. For which the, um, the caretakers ultimately gave up their civilization for. 
or their, their independence. Again, in, in much the same way that uh, the Gaians have a small, uh, a small collection, a small reservation outside the door on the planet where they're able to um, play in the forest and in the river. The uh, aliens don't have such liberties, they're in fact uh, being kept in laboratory, laboratory conditions for further study and interrogation, uh, particularly about the uh, the, man the manif manifold experiments. And that's not a ship. That's not a, a plane. That's a ship. And uh, that once the, um, the the propaganda agencies are at work uh, convincing the population that we've we, we never were it uh, we never were uh, allied with the Data Angels or at any alliance that was there was merely coincidental and um, was ju was just a means of uh, means of keep, keeping uh, keeping them under control and uh, giving them a, f a sense of independence when in fact they've always been a protectorate and. Um, They've, they've always needed. Uh, they've always needed the guiding hand of the cult, and um, they, they've sadly, in recent years, just not been worshipping planets to a necessary extent. And of course, we've brought into line with a more um, a, f a firmer hand, uh, one, one could say. In a case where informal empire is, is is just not sufficient to keep to keep under control, uh, a more um, a, a sort of a firmer, yeah, a firmer, more formal empire is is, uh, is required. There must be something in these geothermal uh, waters because I'm getting so many technological secrets out of them. And in fact, the uh, the lab lab laboratories at the Hermitage um, are, are reporting that a, a weapons uh, the weapons lab are reporting that um, they have a uh, have a breakthrough of sorts, uh, which needs which in which they're pouring funding into. Uh, to, to develop what it is. What it is, we don't know. Look like they're oh, so weak. So weak. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. This is the uh, the Athenians once said the uh, the strong must uh, do some. I, I, actually, I can't remember. I, I know the quotation ends the the weak must suffer what uh, suffer what they must. Uh, I think it's the strong can take what they shall. The weak must suffer what they must. And uh, that's just the case. The Data Angels have just been spent too much time attempting to attack various various um, factions' computers. Not enough time in the more traditional roles of government, uh, which uh, the uh, Planet Cult have been fairly lucky. In that respect, and it's had some fairly able administrators who have also been um, yes. Fairly able administrators that actually managed to fit quite, quite well into, um, quite well into the, cult, the cultist kind of uh, mentality. Some brilliant men that are brilliant men and women that are quite single-minded in their uh, in their field of expertise and administration, but also quite single-minded in their rever uh, reverence of planets, and so therefore uh, we're not subject to the brood pit, which I don't think we've invent invented yet. But that's sort of a kind of a rudimentary 
the I really made through brood pit of sorts. I wonder what am I doing here? In fact, being as I said, this this bit's quite boring. I'm going to end the video here, and you will join us again next time where we will finish off the data angels. I would hope in that turn or the next one, win the game. So hurrah! And I'll see you again next time.